Hey guys, welcome back to another LJ Tech Tips video. Today we'll be reviewing my late 2009 MacBook with an open core legacy patcher, uh, Mac OS and Coya. Um, it has a 64 gigabyte IBM SSD, which is an early SSD, so it's a little bit on the slower side, but everything is prime, like matched. So it's got eight gigs of RAM, and it's got an Intel Core 2 Duo. So if we put a expensive SSD, the machine's not gonna utilize it. So I put in a 64 gigabyte IBM SSD. Um, I bought this for about $4, excluding the postage, which what which was another 30, so $34 total. So um, it's currently booting up, here we go. Now I've open called this machine with Mac OS Sequoia, as you may be seeing. Um, it's a late 2009 uni body MacBook, and I really enjoy this MacBook series because, like, it has a very nice keyboard compared to some of the modern MacBooks, um, which have the butterfly keyboard, which, including myself, really don't like. So I'm just going to type in the password. This Mac is for sale, and I'll pop the Gumtree link, um, down below. Um, I used to sell on Facebook Marketplace, but I was getting a lot of scat spam, so I'm now selling on Gumtree if you'd like to meet and take a look at this machine. Alright, so, yeah, it's a very nice machine. Battery life is reasonable on this mo model. Um, and it, the thing is, is OpenCore has progressed so much during the installer, Everything seemed to work, including the onboard keyboard and mouse, instead of using a USB hub, which is what I used in the previous installs for my 2009 Mac, iMac, sorry. So, on startup, it does this thing where it's still loading, so I like to give it maybe 30 seconds to a minute. And there you go, we are in Mac OS Sequoia. So let's go to about this Mac. Um, only thing disadvantage open core has is this phone mirroring doesn't work. Here we go. This is our spec. So eight gigs of Kingston RAM. That was what was originally in the machine when I got it. 13 inch late 2009 Intel Core 2 Duo and the NVIDIA graphics and Mac OS Sequoia. Sequoia, Sequoia. I'm have pronunciation trouble with this version of Mac OS, so I apologize if I'm pronouncing it incorrectly. So this is my second machine that I've open called. I've done a couple open cores before. Um, I have some of these machines for sale on my Gumtree account, which I'll link down below. It's also in the about this channel um, section where I sell stuff which I've either made or refurbished um but i'll drop the link for this item down below the things which i really enjoy is this keyboard it's really nice um the system is quite a responsive system it's quiet because um it's a mac they don't make much sound so yeah let's do a performance check so we're going to open safari and we'll go to our youtube channel um, and we'll see how the video playback is and go from there. It's full screen Safari. And then we'll also do a speaker check as well because I really, um, enjoy listening to speakers and that type of stuff just as a cross comparison now there is a couple of fingerprints on the screen which i didn't rub off before filming this video i probably should have done that so my bad on that so let's go to here
There we go. That's us. Alright, so let's go to videos. Alrighty, let's do this video. Now, unfortunately, I can't do the sound because I nearly got copyrighted about it. So let's go into full screen. Alright, so we're currently defaulted to. Um, 360p. Oh, I only recorded it into in 720p. That was my bad. Alrighty. So it's doing um, 720p just fine. Um, let's go to a different video where I've done maybe 4K or 1080p. screen once again. There's an ad. Alrighty. Here we go. Let's go to here. Let's go to 1080p60 in full screen. Loading. Let's skip ahead to maybe a middle where it's on so I can actually tell um, what it's doing. <laughs> Alright, so it is running uh, 1080p video playback. It does jump a few frames. I've yeah, it's jumping quite a lot of frames. So, I say for 720p video playback, I think it's just fine. But for 1080p, it's not the best. See, there's no, no frame jumping. So, 720p playback is just fine on this machine. And this machine is excellent for just like Google Docs, that type of stuff, word processing, that type of stuff. It's... It's okay for um, other stuff as well, like YouTube watching. Battery life is pretty good. By the way, this is an Apple original battery. And it, um, it's 79% currently. And we were just watching that video with no charger and none of that. I would benchmark this system, but I just want to do a nice video roundup. So yes, this is a really nice... MacBook, there's a few marks on the front which do come off and that's the back. They've really got a nice heavy design but that's from the era of the 2009 era. It has a CD-ROM drive on it, it has our um, ports, so Mac, uh, MagSafe, full-sized Ethernet, uh, micro display port two USB ports, headphone jack, and then on this side we have our CD-ROM drive. So yeah, it is a really nice laptop, and yeah, if you would like to consider purchasing it, the link is down below in the description. Thank you very much for watching, and have a wonderful rest of your day.